the date today is July 5th, 2018. Exactly 49 years ago, at around lunchtime, two shots rang out along what is today Moya Avenue. Outside a chemist called Chinese chemist, yeah, that forever changed the direction of the country called Kenya. Those two bullets, of course, ended the life of one of the greatest sons Kenya has ever produced, Thomas Joseph Odiambo Mboya, or simply Tom Boya. My political lecturer always used to refer to him as TJ, yeah, one of his nicknames. And my political lecturer totally hero worshipped this man, totally. And I knew this for sure in case I had doubts. One day when I presented uh, to my political lecturer, yeah, evidence that it was possible, yeah, that the man he worshipped was actually a CIA agent. I will come back to that in a bit. But the reaction of my <laughs> political lecturer was uh, very emphatic. He said, no way. Rubbish. <laughs> As he used to like to say. Anyway, don't worry, relax, I'm not giving a history lesson. <laughs> Most of us get very bored with history, okay? And in any case, there's plenty of videos on this channel on this great son of Kenya. In fact, so many videos that somebody would be excused for suspecting that uh, this channel is financed by Tom Boyer Foundation or something like that. <laughs> well, it is not. This channel is financed by patriotic Kenyans. Now, before we go any further, here is something for all those Kenyans uh, out there who hero worship Wazungus, who believe the Mzungu is always right, who believe that the Mzungu must be given respect over a local. Yeah? For instance, in a place where people are demanding service, people are lining up, and the Mzungu is lining up like everybody, but somebody removes him from the line, brings him to the front, <laughs> and subs him very quickly. Eh? Or you're like my political lecturer, who believed that Mzungus are not corrupt. Okay, Here's something for you. Buried next to Tom Boyer on Rosinga Island is a Mzungu. Yep, an American. A man called William X. Schwinnman. <laughs> Schwinnman, I believe I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> now, Schwinnman went out of his way to emphasize to as many people as he could, including the Kenyan government, that when he died, it was absolutely important that he be buried next to Tom Boyer. A great friend, but above everything else, an African this Mzungu worshipped. I wonder what his family felt and said and thought back in the States. Yeah, this guy insisting to be buried next to an African yeah, in black Africa. Land of disease and corruption and banana republics. <laughs> that is probably why Bonash Finman emphasized and reminded people. Yeah, and finally when he died in 1999, yeah, exactly 30 years after his hero was buried, yeah, he was ferried all the way from the land of Uncle Sam, the United States of America, to Kenya, and on to Kisumu, and then on crossing the ferry on to Rusinga Island, and buried right next to Tom Boyer, according to his wishes. Folks, never underestimate an African. Africans are great people, okay? Indeed, we are greater than Mzungus. But one of the things that has done us in is worshipping the Mzungu, okay? And of course, circumstances, environment, etc., etc. Anyway, let me not bore you with that, yeah? There's a Mzungu buried right next to Tomboya. Now, I'm very excited and indeed very humbled that today, that the death of this great Kenyan is uh, commemorated. Yeah, in media. When I started uh, marking this day on my Kumekucha blog, 
12 years ago. The day always passed unnoticed. Nobody was interested. Okay? But as the years went on, and as I continued every year faithfully covering Tom Boyer, yeah, producing new evidence on his death, etc., etc. As the years went on, more and more people took interest. Now today, the Daily Nation has, does, has done some extensive coverage. Indeed, over the last few days, extensive coverage on this great son of Kenya. Yeah, which is uh, great. Because the more Kenyans understand where we've come from, the better it will be for all of us. Yeah, because for you to be able to understand where you're going and where you need to go, it's extremely important to understand very well where you've come from. Anyway, I'm going to say things today that uh, are not going to be very comfortable for the Boyer family. But I have to say them. I must say them. Because on this channel, we have a tradition for saying the truth. Even if the truth is against some of our closest friends. Because if we want a better Kenya, <laughs> we must start with the truth. The whole naked and terrible truth. Now recently, the fact that Tom Boyer was actually an agent of the CIA has been confirmed. In secret uh, government documents of the United States government, yeah, this has been proved and established beyond any doubt. And so, what my political lecturer referred to as rubbish is actually the truth. But to me, that does not take away my respect for Tom Boyer. Yeah. To me, that does not take away the great achievements this great son of Kenya managed to accomplish in such a short time. Yeah, he died when he was barely 40 years old. And yet he's a giant in every sense of the word, as far as Kenya and Kenyan politics is concerned. Amongst the reasons that forced the assassination of Tom Boyer was the fact that uh, he was a stumbling block. Yeah, he was an obstacle to the corruption cartels of Kenya, which are really flourishing today. Indeed, Kenyans are just beginning to understand yeah, just how rotten, eh, totally rotten, our system is. And indeed our governments. Serikali to kufu of rotten corruption. Serikali to kufu of killing innocent children. Yeah. Serikali to kufu of making widows and orphans for the sake of ensuring that corruption continues. For the sake of ensuring that the rotten core remains intact. On to what I want to say. Now I have a reason, very solid reason, to believe that Bona William X. Schwinman, yeah, was one of the handlers of Tom Boyer. Yeah, he was a CIA guy. Indeed, I believe he was his main handler. And that is precisely how they met in the early 50s when Boyer visited the United States for the very first time. Ask yourself, if you're doubting, yeah, how somebody from black Africa at that time, in the 50s, could receive so much press, so much attention from the press in the United States. At that time, he was barely starting out. Yeah, he had not yet made his big achievements to warrant such uh, media attention. He even addressed a civil rights gathering in the States. Yeah, that video I believe is on YouTube. I put it to you that as brilliant as TJ was, he did not have the capacity, the connections, and uh, whatever else was needed to organize and pull off what he did. In the US, yeah, without a very big, powerful uh, hand of support, yeah, propping him up and helping him along the way. Mboya even appeared on the cover of Time magazine. Yes, the very reputable, very authoritative Time magazine. Yeah, of the time, of course, things have changed a lot. Yeah, but Time has always been respected. Yeah, the weekly news and political magazine from the United States. My prayer on this day that we remember, July 5th, 1969, the day Tom Boy was assassinated, my deep and fervent prayer 
to Almighty God is that the country produces another great son. As great as Tomboya was, or maybe even greater, but with absolutely no connection and no control from big Western powers. A man, indeed, or a woman, whose sole motivation and driving force will be for a better Kenya, without any strings attached to some major world power. One more thing I need to say before I go. I believe that the greatest achievement I've ever managed to pull off was solving the mystery of the assassination of Tomboya. Yeah, right up to the person who pulled the trigger. Yeah, not Nashon Jenga. Those videos on this channel. And I have to repeat, I felt a great relief the minute I finished that video that revealed everything. The whole series documentary I did on Boya. Yeah. The minute I finished that video series on the assassination of Boya, ha, huh, I just felt freed. You know, I felt different. You can rest in peace now, TJ. The truth is out there. Future generations will know it, and your great achievements shall always be remembered. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekucha.